right, let's go over the new top five best class setups in ranked play right now in Modern Warfare 2 Season 2. These setups are geared to get you more kills and most importantly, more wins. So if you're looking for that, this video has you covered. If you guys enjoy, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. And let me know down in the comment section right now, are you guys playing solo ranked play or prefer to play a party of friends and considering you're probably going to turn on a twitch stream to show off these new class setups that you're absolutely going to destroy with strengthening that community and sharing the knowledge with this video sponsor throne is definitely a good idea throne is a content creator's dream no matter what niche you're a part of and also a fantastic way for an avid viewer or diehard fan to support their favorite content creator. You can check out my throne wish list as well as the link to sign up to throne at the top of the description. Now, this is very important. There's no need to fear because throne prioritizes privacy as well as safety, which allows fans to support their favorite content creator or streamer by sending them gifts. Pretty cool. Now, these gifts can quite literally range from snacks, clothes, gaming gear anything your favorite content creator would need in their respective niche so it's not only for gaming maybe you like to go ahead and modify cars like me as well now being a gamer i have some cool controller skins for my xbox controller as well as a few amazon gift cards so i'm always stocked up on parts now throne also has an ability that you can as a viewer suggest gifts so if you want your favorite streamer to try a different snack something that you've been eating when playing games or for them to try a new mouse pad or a new chair that you've recently bought, you can also suggest this under the gifting category. Throne also has a crowdfunding ability to support big ticket items and a gift or message system so you can further your support to your favorite content creator and have a personalized message attached to your gift. This is a perfect addition to any content creation platform, no matter what niche you're a part of, and it also is safe. No leak addresses, phone numbers, or information you do not want floating around the internet. So this interests you, make sure you guys go ahead and sign up with Throne using my link at the top of the description to further strengthen your community. With all that being said, let's get right into creating these class setups. Now for the first class that we're taking a look at the TAC 56 here, I have a different build as opposed to the pro player class because this one has a little bit more recoil control and I think that's gonna be a huge positive at winning more gunfights, winning more games. Cause let's be honest here, not everybody is a pro player even in ranked play. Now for the first attachment, we are gonna rock that demo clean shot grip to bump up that sprint to fire speed as well as aim down sight speed. Getting that first shot is gonna be crucial in ranked play, but also remaining accurate is also gonna be equally as important. Now for the tuning, we are gonna increase sprint to fire speed to negative 0.09, as well as the aim down sight speed to negative 0.68. Now under the stock category, we are not gonna rock the TV Cardo stock. It is still a good attachment, but we are going to maintain the crouch movement speed, sprint speed, as well as aim down side speed with this class setup, allowing us to get the jump on players at those close to medium ranges. The con is going to be completely and utterly irrelevant. Now for the tuning, we are going to bump up that aim walking speed to negative 2.09, and we're also going to increase the aim down side speed to negative 2.58. A great attachment and tune combination here to speed up an already solid assault rifle. We are not running an optic. The iron tights are crystal clear, incredibly easy to use, and we are also not going to run a barrel this time. Normally, we rock a barrel on the TAF 56 here in ranked play, but instead, we're going to remove this to go ahead and bump up some close range handling and to substitute not having any additional damage range. We are going to rock a muzzle, which is going to be increasing that horizontal as well as vertical recoil control to help us out at longer ranges, going ahead and making sure this is still a long range potent AR. Now for the tuning, we are going to bump up that gun kick control at plus 0.17. And we're also gonna adjust the aim down sight speed at negative 0.57. Now we are gonna rock the commando foregrip here, a great attachment to smooth out that recoil pattern and also give us incredible accuracy and stability. Now for the tuning, we are gonna increase the aim walking speed at negative 0.08. And we're also gonna adjust that recoil stabilization at plus 0.46. 
now we are finally going to go ahead and rock in ammunition which is going to be that high velocity which is going to be making sure we can hit our targets as quickly as possible down range for the tuning we are going to increase the bullet velocity at plus 7.26 and we're going to adjust that damage range here at plus 0.63. So we have a lot of attachments working with each other for this class setup. We're taking some, but also gaining some with some different attachments here. Jumping into the firing range, you're going to be very happy because this class setup is still going to have literally a lightning quick ADS. And as you guys can see here, very little recoil. Main of the build is going to be the X12. I'm rocking the Chromin Lima 6 as well as the XRK Luck 9. This is going to be completely irrelevant. Stun Grenade, Simtex, as well as the perks. We're running Double Time Bomb Squad, as well as Fast Hands. I like to play Hard Point and Control, and I think a lot of you guys as well. And for the field upgrades, I have on Dead Silence, because everybody rocks the trophy system, and being able to flank and bust a hill is going to be a huge positive, especially if you are not fortunate enough to have friends to play in a party. Now, for class number two, we're taking a look at the Vaznev 9K. This is definitely one of the best classes, if not the best class right now here in ranked play. It works no matter what play style you have. If you're running gun, if you're passive, if you're playing in a party, or if you're playing solo, this setup will get it done. Now, for the Vaznev, we are going to be rocking that true tat grip here to bump up that sprint to fire speed as well as aim down sight speed a fantastic attachment and for the tuning we are going to increase the sprint to fire speed to negative 0.29 as well as aim down sight speed almost all the way down to negative 0.94 we are going to rock a stock which is going to be the broadside fct a fantastic attachment on the vasnev 9k to increase that stability crouch movement speed aim down sight speed as well as sprint speed so we can get out of hills and go ahead and continue to push enemy players now for the tuning we are going to bump up that aim walking speed to negative 2.01 and we're also going to adjust the aim down sight speed at negative four all the way down we have the luxury to do so with this class setup now we are not running an optic because the iron sights are fantastic on this smg ar hybrid and we're also not running a barrel here instead we're going to rock a muzzle which is going to be that bruin pendulum to increase the vertical as well as horizontal recoil again to substitute for not having a barrel now for the tuning we are going to bump up that gun kick at plus 30 and we're also going to adjust that aim down sight speed at negative 0.59 a fantastic attachment and tune combination here to strengthen this already good smg even better at long ranges and to strengthen that long range capability even more we are going to rock the shark fin 90 here to smooth out that recoil pattern and give us additional aiming idle stability for the tuning we are going to bump up that aim walking speed to negative 0.31 as well as that aim down sight speed to negative 0.21 because we have a free attachment slot we are going to utilize the 45 round mag you can use this you don't have to if you don't want to but with this specific class setup we still have a fast ads which is crucial here in ranked play and it's still going to be an accurate smg even at those medium ranges so definitely give this a try and the setup is going to be the x12 attachments don't matter we have on sun grenade simtex and we have on double time bomb squad as well as fast hands with dead silence now for class number three we are going to utilize the cast off 545 this is a mid-range monster here ever since they removed the iso hemlock the 545 has kind of weaved its way into rank play and for good reason definitely give this a try because it really is not that good in regular multiplayer because things are available in multiplayer but in ranked play this is valid now for the rear grip we are going to rock the true chat grip here to bump up that sprint to fire speed as well as aim down sight speed now for the tuning we are going to bump up that sprint to fire speed to plus 0.01 and we're also going to adjust that recoil steadiness at plus 0.81 now we are going to rock the cast off rama stock here we're not running the broadside fct the rama is going to be a great attachment for the 545 increasing that aim walking speed and more sprint speed remember this is going to be a medium range monster so we're going to build this class setup for those engagements for the tuning we are going to bump up that aim out of stability at 1.86 and we're also going to adjust that aim walking steadiness at 1.03 definitely a great attachment in tune combination we are not running an optic because the iron sights are fantastic and we are also not running a barrel because these are going to be hurting this weapon as far as aim down sight speed 
or range goes now we are going to rock a most which is going to be a new attachment that i really have not recommended until now the komodo heavy bumping up that horizontal recoil control because that's all we need now for the tuning we are going to bump up the aim idle stability at negative 0.16 as well as that aim down sight speed at negative 0.52 now, for the underbarrel, for this specific weapon, we are going to rock the Sharkfin 90, similar to the Vaznev build, so we can go ahead and smooth out that recoil pattern. And for the tuning, we are going to adjust the aim walking speed at negative 0.12, as well as the aim down sight speed at negative 0.26. Now, finally, for the ammunition, we are going to rock high velocity, because we do have an open slot, which is going to bump up that bullet velocity, crucial on a medium range assault rifle here and for the tuning we are going to bump up that steadiness at negative 4.65 and we also are going to adjust that recoil smoothness at negative 0.14 once we go ahead and jump in the firing range you're going to be very happy here because this is definitely going to be like i said a quick ads and the time to kill is ridiculously quick on the 545 secondary is going to be the x12 same attachments it's going to be irrelevant stun grenade simtex and we have on double time bomb squad fast hands with that silence here now for class set number four we're going to go ahead and take a look at the lockman sub the lockman sub is one of those smgs where you can go ahead and use it if you are bored of the vaznev 9k maybe you're on a hot one streak you're playing with buddies and you're looking to go ahead and mix some things up here now for this weapon we are going to rock the lockman tcg 10 this is a mandatory attachment to bump down that recoil so we can definitely control it at those medium ranges and for the tuning we are going to bump up that sprint to fire speed to negative 0.44 and aim down sight speed at negative 0.58 a fantastic attachment to in combination this is a mandatory i'm telling you guys this a mandatory attachment we are not running a stock here we're actually going to go ahead and remove this for this build we're not running an optic either because we don't need to the iron sights are perfect but we are going to rock a barrel which is going to be that falcon barrel to bump up that movement speed as well as aim down sight speed a fantastic attachment to compete with the vasnev at close range for the tuning we are going to adjust the aim down sight speed at negative 0.36 in the aim walking speed, we're going to increase this at negative 0.50. We have the luxury to do so with this specific build. For the muzzle, we are going to rock the Bruin Pendulum. The same attachment we run on the Vaznev 9K. We're rocking it on the Lockman Sub to increase that vertical as well as horizontal recoil control. This is going to be a mandatory attachment on the submachine gun to keep the recoil down. We need to do that with the submachine gun. For the tuning, we are going to adjust gun kick at plus 0.27 and we're also going to go ahead and adjust the aim down sight speed at negative 0.77 definitely a great attachment so we can go ahead and control this weapon at those medium ranges to attack other vasnev 9k users for the underbarrel we are going to rock that shark fin 90 here again to smooth out that recoil pattern and for the tuning we are going to adjust the aim walking speed at negative 0.22 and for the aim down sight speed, we are going to adjust this at negative 0.62. A fantastic attachment and tune combo. And because we have an open attachment slot, we are going to rock that 40 round magazine. A fantastic option in place of the stock. Because even if you take the stock off, so being in the firing range, we still have a quick ADS. And the recoil is going to be very, very manageable. Man, the setup is going to be x12 stun grenade simtex and again for the perks double time bomb squad fast hands and obviously dead silence here and for the fifth and final class that we're taking a look at the cast off 762 a fantastic fantastic assault rifle here on rank play if you guys are not running this give this a go it's a great substitute if you do not want to rock the tac 56 now for the rear grip we are going to rock that demo x2 grip we are not running the true tac grip here this is going to bump up that recoil control once you guys see this class up in action you're going to agree this is a fantastic choice under the rear grip category now for the tuning we are going to bump up that sprint to fire speed to negative 0.22 and aim down sight speed to negative 0.65 for the stock we are going to utilize the broadside fct to increase that crouch movement speed sprint speed aim down sight speed as well as aiming stability overall helping out this weapon in all of its relative just combat environments here we're going to be able to take people out at close range medium range as well as long ranges now for the tuning we are going to bump up that aim walking speed at negative 1.70 and we're also going to bump up that aim down sight speed to negative 3.48 
we are gonna rock an optic i like to rock an optic on the cast off 762 because this is going to be a weapon that we need to compete with the tap 56 as well as the 545 and having a high damage ar with more precision is a huge plus in my book the corona mini pro aka the blue dot sight is going to be a fantastic choice and for the tuning all we're going to do is increase the aim down sight speed to negative 2.90 with the luxury to do so with this specific attachment we are not running a barrel here but instead we are going to rock a muzzle which is going to be that tempest gh50 for increased vertical recoil control that is all we need and for the tuning we are going to bump up that gun kick at plus 0.10 and aim down sight speed at negative 0.70 now for the under barrel we are going to utilize the commando foregrip to smooth out that recoil pattern and for the tuning we are going to bump up aim walking speed to negative 0.17 as well as aim down sight speed at negative 0.52 once you guys jump into the firing range you're going to be very happy because this weapon has a quick ads and it has literally zero recoil a fantastic loadout to contest the tac 56 main of the build is going to be the x12 sun grenade simtex and again the perks double time bomb squad fast hands and obviously dead silence these are going to be the top five fastest killing guns best class types to use here in ranked play in modern warfare 2 season 2 if there are two builds i want you to check out right now it's got to be the cast offs man the cast off 545 setup as well as the 762 monsters here in ranked play and you guys will tear it up and if you guys do put it on the comment section of this video and as always make sure you guys drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications and your boy ears and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one man this is